Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with another Myth May episode. And today I want to go over mothballs. Now everybody here probably knows what mothballs are and what they're used for. In fact, if you're old enough to wear you know, your winter clothes were kept in a maybe a cedar chest with mothballs or a closet with mothballs to keep the moths out of your clothing. You know, that's something that would happen back, you know, so many years ago. People may still do that in some places. Uh, I don't. I wear a lot of polyester crap that, you know, the moths won't eat. Um, Mothballs kill moths. What they do is they release a chemical vapor into the air. It's It's an odor that builds up in an area and kills the moths when the moths try to get to your clothing, like in your closets or in a chest of drawers or something like that. Um, The thing about mothballs is people use mothballs for things mothballs aren't supposed to be used for. Like they crush it up and they put them in snake away and they spread it around their yard outside their house. Does that actually work to keep snakes away? No, it doesn't mothballs actually will not keep snakes away from your house. I know a lot of people use them. A lot of people believe in them. They swear by them. I'll tell you what mothballs will do. If you get snakes in your basement and you fill your basement full of mothballs, it will kill baby snakes because the snakes can't get away from the vapor the mothballs give off. But you know who else can't get away from it? You. All right, if you take mothballs and put them all over your basement or in your closets or wherever, they build up a toxic vapor in those areas that they are put in. You know, if it's in a chest that's going to keep the moths out of your clothes, well, that's fine because you're not around it. It's in a chest. But if you take them and put them under your bed to try to keep mice out or bugs or other things, then the vapor is going to come up and you're going to smell the mothballs. If you can smell the naphthalene or the paradichlorobenzene that that is in mothballs, then you haven't used the mothballs correctly. Now, when they're used outside to keep snakes away, the smell is actually, it, it goes off into the air, it evaporates. The moth crystals actually evaporate and they're no longer effective because they mix with the air. And so, because they're not confined, they don't work. I have witnessed snakes crawl over mothballs. I have found people put them around the edges of their property where maybe a neighbor doesn't mow the grass very often and they want to try to keep the snakes out of the people's tall grass from coming over into their house or into their property. doesn't work. Snakes will crawl right over it. I've actually witnessed a mouse running out of grassy area, real tall grassy area, like, you know, you could cut the hay and the guys go out and throw mothballs there and then the snake crawls over the mothballs to get to the mouse. I'll tell you a trick to keep snakes away. Kill your mice. Keep your rodent population down. Mow your grass. Keep the bushes down from away from the house. Make your house a inhospitable place for rodents and snakes to live because snakes eat rodents. Snakes eat birds. If you have birds roosting on your house, get rid of the nests. Don't let birds roost on your house. Put up those little metal spikes and stuff around to keep the birds from nesting on your property. This will keep snakes away. That's much more effective than mothballs. So hopefully this has been some help. I look forward to other Myth Monday, uh, Myth Monday, Myth May episodes. I'm doing one a day every month of every day of May. So I will see you tomorrow. Thanks.